I want to ask you a question. Who's coaching you? Who's asking you the tough questions? Who's telling you, man, you're the common denominator to all of your issues and challenges? Who's telling you, man, all day long, you become the magnetic pulse that attracts to you both good and bad? I want to be your life coach. I want to be the one that cheers you on to the finish line. I want to be the one that you ask the tough questions. And it doesn't mean that I have all the answers, but that means that you have a partner, someone who believes in you, not the you you see right now, but the you you can't imagine, the you that you are to become, the you you were destined to be. I always say we both need the positive and the negative. It's not enough to have the knowledge of the matter, but we must have the wisdom as well. Well, wisdom settles it. And that's what I want to offer you as you join me on the Coach's Corner. I want to offer you the wisdom of the matter. Maybe it might be relationships. Talking about our campaigns for more, for life. The dark room for our subconscious. Our spiritual journey. Whatever it is, I want to be there to encourage you to build you, to challenge you, to cheer you on to the finish line. I'm qualified to do this. Why? Because I'm you. That's right. I'm qualified to do it because I'm you, and I'm no different than who you are, and you're no different than who I am, because together, through the human experience, we can become so much more than we are right now. And I trust that as you Understand that we approach these microphones in the studio having bumped our heads and fell along the path. Yes, we have issues as well. But we bring to you the wisdoms of the matter that we have learned in life. And we trust and hope that you can give us the opportunity to earn the right to speak into your life. My name is Marcus Lett, a.k.a. The Coach. Thank you so much for stopping by DCC on today. Today we're talking about how to command honor, respect, and earnings. Honor, respect, and earnings. The H-R-E effect. H-R-E effect. Command honor, respect, and earnings. I would be remiss if I did not say thank you very much to all those that are listening to me on the worldwide platforms where SIBN, television, and radio broadcast. Thank you so very much from the ends of the earth all the way from the United States to the furthest countries, New Zealand and others. Africa, thank you so very much. Follow us on Twitter at Select TV and on Facebook, wherever SIB and television and radio is broadcasting. Let's get to work. Man, I am excited about what I'm going to talk about on today because I want you to understand that we are caught in a capsule often times more than not of past past consciousness past failures past memories it is up to us who who want to move forward it is up to us who would not take no as a permanent answer in life to begin to know how to command something in our lives as you know on 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 our radio shows we say that it is not them, it is not her, it is not him, uh, but I am the common denominator in every situation. And when you begin to embrace that philosophy, now this is not something I read in a book somewhere. This is not something I heard about on some talk show. I'm talking about the common denominator effect. This is my own personal philosophy that evolved as I begin to do more radio on the motivational side, less music. Many people know me from promoting artists and authors and so forth and so on. And we're going to be getting back to that, by the way, looking at a new co-host for the CATL show for the, those that want to sneak peek at what's going on with the network and other things. So you can tune into GPP for that global press pass, but we, we are in a thicket. <clears throat> we are in a thicket about moving forward. And the thicket that we are in has a lot to do with how to get out of the rut, how to get out of the pattern, how to how to matriculate, how to mature toward the place of our imagination or even toward the place of our potential. 
And the way that we do that is that we must understand, as I said earlier, that first, if it is to be, it is up to me. It is not up to me and someone else. It is up to me. And also, I've added, and my view, my respect, my honor for my divinity, my relationship, spiritually speaking, because too often, more than not, we leave that out as if the, what we're looking at is more real than what we can't see. But what you can't see is more, more authentic than what you can see, because what you can see has manifested itself from the core of your belief system. Let me say that again. What I see is the manifestation of what I believe. If I do not believe, I cannot see. If I cannot see because I do not believe, I shall not have the enjoyment, the access, the manifestation thereof, what I would wish for. Too many times we are found wishing, dreaming, and not doing the business or the work of moving forward. And so I wanted to do a special show to talk about commanding honor and respect and earnings because many people out there have resources, but so many people have no resources. This, this show is dedicated to people who have very little resources or very little support. There are a lot of people out there that, that have the credit line to go and to, to, to borrow uh, X amount of dollars to uh, accentuate and to, to enhance their concepts and ideas and their vision. But there are a lot of people who don't have that line of credit. What do you do when you don't have the line of credit you think you need to access the building materials for the house of dreams you would like to build? It's a question, a rhetorical question, something to think about. What do you do when you don't have the support that you would like to have and the, the, to initiate certain, certain projects? What do you do? What do you do? And all that will be covered under this topic, how to command honor and respect. So let's get to honor. Uh, as we move forward, we do know that, and we've gotten this in culture, that we, we have to learn that karma is still always and will always be a part of our life, our life's genre, if you will, the genre of life. You know, that's a unique way to put it, the genre of life. Honor will always be a respect part of that. And, and, and too many of us have been dishonored. We have been dishonored, and so therefore we, we have found ourselves walking in the victimized crevice of dishonor. We have not been treated with honor. We have not been given due honor. And one of the things I was talking to a friend of mine about, I said, man, I, I've been getting a lot of compliments in my music because many of you don't know, but uh, I've returned to my music of sorts. I'm, I'm not producing just yet, but not writing again uh, songs or whatever, but I've returned to performing and, and so forth and so on. And, and, and some things I want to do musically uh, because I, I, I realize that is one of the things that people honored in my life. And there are many jewels there. It is very rich there, but there are other areas of my life such as, uh, when I get compliments about my music, I'm still not used to all the compliments because there were a lot of dishonor hurled at me early on and even in my teen and the young adult years regarding music. And I, and I personalized that dishonor. I personalized it. And dishonor is not always intentional. Please, we're not talking about being a victim here. We were victimized. But being... Dishonored is not always intentional. People don't always mean to dishonor you. For instance, the human experience deserves honor. <clears throat> honor uh, for the life of it, for the span that it can have, for the production that it can offer, for the potential that its future holds. Honor to, 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 to bestow uh, kindness and to, to take seriously and to... And to be able to look and glance at perspectives 
with futuristic uh, admiration, if you will. I'm not reading from the dictionary. This is my own definition, and maybe you need to use the core definition, but add to what what does honor mean to you? <clears throat> honor. You know, persons deserve a second, third, and fourth chance because someone gave me third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth chance. I need some help right there. Honor. Who are you honoring? Because chances are we don't move past who we are willing to honor. I need some help. Oh, yeah, we're going to keep the music on the download for, the, for, for right now until a little bit later on because we really need to have this conversation. If we were dishonored, we, are tend, we tend to dishonor. But if we acknowledge that we have been dishonored and that everybody around us, not everyone particularly, but in a general sense that the human experience uh, involves dishonor, then we ourselves will begin to say, okay, I'm not the only one that's been dishonored. But since I recognize that I had been dishonored, perhaps unintentionally or intentionally, it doesn't even matter. Forgiveness is not predicated on whether or not a person intended or, or did not intend to harm us. I need some help. Forgiveness is not predicated on what the other person did. Forgiveness is predicated on where I'm trying to go. And so therefore, by reason of default, my belief system automatically kicks in forgiveness as the mechanism of movement and momentum. I need some help. I said forgiveness automatically by by reason of default kicks in when I am offended, when I am hurt, because I'm always wanting and desiring and 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 and, and all my efforts and energies are to move forward. So therefore, momentum demands forgiveness. I need some help. Power demands forgiveness and forgiveness is a part of being dishonored. Call being called names is dishonor dishonoring when you call somebody a name it's dishonoring it takes away human the human dignity of who they are to be and many of us have been dishonored women are being dishonored in the music industry to a certain degree and they are also dishonoring themselves because they're taking on they're taking on the dishonor as a personal coat of arms i need some help I said they're taking on the dishonor mantle and they're now walking in their own dishonor and thereby dishonoring their children or dishonoring their mate or their partner. I need some help. So we, we, we've got to we've got how do you command your honor back? How do you restore your honor back? We talk about that when we come back from the break. Listen, because, you know, we don't receive what is not. We cannot distribute what is not received. If I'm looking to be honored, then I must first recognize where I've been dishonored. This is my opinion. And I must restore the honor to Marcus Select by honoring myself. And I must admit to you that I have dishonored myself. I have treated myself less than the royalty that I was created in. I need some help. I, I have walked in the subtleness of yesterday's mud, yet trying to push forward. You cannot push forward. You cannot maintain momentum in the eye of dishonor. You have to give yourself a break. You have to release yourself from what others have done. You have to regain a, 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 a balance standing as a human being. There's nothing deep about that right there. Let me say that again. You have to regain a balance standing as a human being. And if you don't, guess what? You will continue to experience dishonor. Not because you are now being victimized by others, but because you yourself have internalized the victimized systematic era of culture and thereby attract to you people who will not honor you. I need some help. I got to go to a commercial break. What are we going to do 
about honor before everything else. There's honor. The, re, the, 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 the revealing, the, the, the reviling, the, 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 I try to search for the words to help us move into the, the consciousness of learning how even, even, even if you've messed up, even if you've come from humble beginnings, as they say, how do I return to honor when I've been gossiped about? How, how do I return to honor when I've been lied on? How do I return to honor? How do I honor myself when I've been raped or maimed or, or accused or uh, uh, imprisoned? How, when I've been wronged, how do I honor myself when I re reacted rather than respond? How do I regain that back? That's what we're going to talk about when we come back from the break. Because you know what? We got to move toward the future. We don't know how long we have on this earth and everything we do is legacy, legacy, legacy field. What do we want folks to remember? What do we want folks to embrace about who we are? Let's go to commercial break. When we come back, how to command honor. You're listening to SIVN Radio. We'll be right back in a moment. Now is the time to have your business online with the Select USA TV I Broadcasting Network. That's right, SIBN or Select USA TV will produce your video on the spot. Picture business videos, on location streaming videos, or on location production videos. Dial 678 830 3118 or call the office at 404 910 5019 Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now is the time to have your business online with SIBN. The Select USA TV I Broadcasting Network now offers picture videos, on location streaming videos, and on location production videos for your event cause, brand, or mission. Call today, 678 830 3118 or 404 910 5019. Attention all artists, artists of all genres. Now you can be featured on Gas Global Artist Showcase show on the CATL show airing now on SIBN Radio. That's right, all artists now, all genres, wholesome and positive, please, can be featured on Gas Global Gas, Artist Global Showcase. Art, showcase. Global, Global Artist, artist Showcase artist. on the CATL show now airing on SIBN Radio. Radio. For more information, dial 4049. 1050019. That's 4049105019. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. Or email us or at global coverage at selectusatv.info. Are you a spoken Are word? You a spoken artist? word artist? Now is your time to be featured online. Tier 1 Promotions on the CATL show is looking for spoken word artists to be featured on regular rotation. Regular rotation. If you are a spoken word artist, now is your time to be promoted on Tier 1 Promotions Tier 1 with promotion. the CATL show. For more information, dial 404-910-5019. That's 404-910-5019. Or email us your bio and your links to work online. Global coverage at selectusatv.info. Global coverage at selectusatv.info. Calling all spoken word artists, word artists nationwide. Nationwide, nationwide call nationwide for all call spoken for word all artists. Word nationwide. Nationwide. A nationwide call nationwide for all call spoken, for all word, spoken artists. word artists. This has been your CATL GAS Global Artist Showcase promotion. All submissions must be wholesome and positive, please. Suitable for SIV and television and radio networks. Yeah, we're talking about honor. Commanding honor. Let's define it. Define what honor really means. Let's do that. Honor 
means I had it here. I was looking it up during the commercial break. Respect that is given to someone who is it admired. Good reputation, good quality of character, good quality or character as judged by other people, high moral standards of behavior. A showing of usually merited respect. But see, I think differently, the human experience gives everybody a platform for honor. Now, the Bible and those of you that are religious understand that there is an t- honor, honor tier there's a tier of honor where you respect your parents, authority, delegated authority, and things of that nature. Uh, men that are stronger, men are stronger than women, though women are strong, I need some help, still are to respect tearing down their strength, power, and tearing up their strength power tearing down meaning to the women and children men are to honor I need some help and men are to honor God tearing up because they can't have more strength than he has and they rely men that is rely as well as women and children rely on God tearing up honor tearing up and honor tearing down honor tearing up those of him, him above me or those above me and honor tearing down those below me. I need some help. Now, along the path of the journey of life, somewhere, somehow, we have not been always honored. We have not been admired. We have not had perhaps by our own means or by the means of instigation or aggravation, a good reputation. I need some help. Somehow or another, we have lost the quality and the high moral standard of our own behavior for whatever reason. We are yet may perhaps even be tempted even now to dishonor ourselves. All because we have that seed of dishonor that was planted through some situation, some circumstance, some person, some authority figure. And people that are dishonored tend to dishonor others. I need some help. And so we need to rectify this now. And how to how do I command honor? Well, I command honor by restoring to my belief system that which I believe I deserve. And I believe I deserve honor. And I find inroads. Notice I said inroads into the campaign to restore my personal honor to myself. Forgiveness by reason of default is part of that process. Forgiveness by reason of default. Forgiveness by reason of default is also the cleansing agent for restoration of honor. Releasing. Forgiveness, uh, the second tier, if you will, of forgiveness is the art of releasing and letting go. Ah, it sounds so beautiful when I say it now, but it wasn't so beautiful 25 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. 45 years ago, it wasn't so beautiful to hear, let go. Songwriter said, let go and let God. But not only let God, but let go for let go sake, because you can't do anything about what you can't change. We often hurt over hurt, if that's a word, over hurt over the past. We're hurt and then we're over hurt, like a bill could be due and then overdue. We hurt and then we over hurt over something that is long past. They've thrown their rock, hid their hand and might have come back and said, I apologize to you, woman or man. And yet we're still hurting over the same thing. We're dishonoring our opportunities to have a fresh start. We're dishonoring our day of new mercies. We're dis why? Because we're yet thinking, yet meditating, yet renaissancing, if you will, on the past, what someone else did or did not do, and more often than not, is not always what they did, is what they didn't do that causes us to be dishonored. But then we internalize it. 
And therefore, our admiration has a cap on it. Our reputation has a cap on it. The quality of our thinking has a cap on it. The quality of our character has a cap on it. The, the moral standard of our behavior has a cap on it. The esteem has a cap on it. The recognition of who we really are as human beings and the potential that we were designed to fulfill has a cap on it because we ourselves have not learned how to catch this thicket and nip this in the bud once and for all. I tend to dishonor myself because I was dishonored. I have internalized that methodology of conditioning in my own personal life. And I admit it so I can quit it. I need some help. I said, I admit it so I can quit it. I need to stop dishonoring my life. I need to hold my life in a higher esteem. I need to have my life in high moral standards of behavior. I need to make sure that I am mindful of my reputation. I need, and that might help you with your temptation. I need some help. I've been dishonored, but yet I have dishonored me. Therefore, I have attracted to me that which complements the belief system that emerges from my consciousness and from my conditioning and from my lifestyle. You cannot deny, you cannot deny, you cannot deny who you really are. What you attract to you is part of what you believe you deserved. Even in, in, the, in the respect to God, as much as he loves us, as much as he's done for us, for those that believe, you, can, you cannot enjoy the fruit therein until you let go of the past and embrace the futuristic grace, the futuristic love, the love that is so powerful, so wide, so high, so deep that it takes you from the back and puts you in the front in conditioning of your mentality and the conditioning of your spirit. It takes you from yesterday into a new day where you can recognize, you know what? I've been dishonoring myself. Thereby, I have been disrespecting myself. And then I had thought it was them, it was her, it was him. But all along, I had internalized the victimization of my circumstances. I need some help. I had internalized the victimized components of my circumstances. I, I used, as I said in one of my shows, I, 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 this is what you must, when you go through that process, you must begin to admit to yourself and, and to your Lord, you know, in your prayers, in your meditative time, in your confessional, I must admit, I, I, I use manipulation and I use varying ta uh, tactics to get my way. Because I was hurt and, and I saw that I could get my way and I saw that I could manipulate way, my way forward and, and I enjoyed the pittiness and the, and the, and the, you know, the whole, the whole of it, as one person said, the whole of it. And as one psychologist said, well, how's that working for you? Well, it hasn't been working because when you get pity from folk, it fills up a vacuum for just a moment. And then you got to do something else to get some more pity. I need some help. And sometimes you're begging for pity and you don't even realize you're begging for pity because I have a new, I have a new, I have a new statement for you for the new year coming in. I have a new statement for you. Stand on your own freaking two feet. Stand on your own two feet. Stand on your own two feet. You and God stand together. Restore the honor. Restore the respect. Command it. We're going to talk about how to command it in the practical sense after the break. Because I want you to understand that now that you recognize, perhaps in your own life, that you have dishonored yourself, you know, now, some folks play the game of dishonor for money purposes. Uh, talk about that often, how they capitalize off of the demise of others. They put themselves in what seems to be harm's way, but they already have a reputation of saying anything to get paid. I need some help. Y'all don't, don't want me to go there because then I have to bring DJ in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to really have a conversation here. 
But people, 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 there's a there, there's a level now where you could dishonor folk and disrespect folk and get paid for it. We do it all the time and culturally in our culturally in our music. You get paid for it. you get big enough dollars. It don't matter who you dishonor. See, that's 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 part of this this equation that I've been talking about. Not only we have been dishonored and victimized in our private places, in our private spaces, in our homes and in our communities, but we've been victimized in the public, <laughs> you know, with dishonoring lyrics and dishonoring songs and dishonoring statements and dishonoring shows. I need some help. And it's just like we just go around putting people down and, uh, you know, ruining people's reputation, trying to ruin people's reputation, damaging people's quality uh, 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 the legacy of their, the quality of their legacy, see, and, and get paid for it, see. Capitalize off of others' demise, see. That's part of this equation. But I'm here to tell you, we got to take that back. We got to command our own honor. We got to admit that we've dishonored ourselves. We've got to admit we've disrespected ourselves, and we got to return to honoring ourselves how many times have you went to do something and you and you did something else and then you say you know what i should have did it the way i was thinking the first time you dishonored yourself you didn't trust yourself you didn't respect yourself you didn't think your reputation was good enough to follow your first mind as it were using that for an example the quality of your first thought was doubted in your second thought i need some help the quality of your first response to a temptation was watered down with the excuse, well, it would be too bad if I did this. And we all do it. Come on, Oz. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. I keep trying to tell you, you know, we approach this microphone with faults and issues ourselves. But recognizing that if we're going to move, move into the future, if we're going to be able to command earnings, not earnings just in the sense of money, but earnings in the sense of progress, Earnings in the sense of, of, of longevity, uh, of endurance, uh, uh, of continued determination, of boldness. Then we have to address why we keep taking off our clothes for folks that ain't worthy of our goods. Let's talk about that. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just saying, let's talk about that in our personal conversation and personal time. Why do you keep taking off your clothes? Because you know what? That's, that's how we honor other folks. By giving them a piece of our bodies. And other folk honor folk by taking their bodies. I need some help. We got we got issues, man. We get, we got issues, man. Culturally speaking, we got issues. And so the, we got to command our honor back. We got to command our respect back. I want to go to commercial break because I want to come back and talk to you about how to command respect and earnings and how to move back into the place where you are in the captain's seat. And notice when I say this, that when you are in the captain's seat, you have controls in front of you that indicate the safety of your trip. There is a protocol to the flight from destination A to destination B. There is a protocol to it. And if I don't follow that protocol, I will not enjoy the trip and neither will I reach my destination, Mr. Coach. You're listening to SIBN Radio. Attention all artists, artists of all genres. Now you can be featured on Gas Global Artist Showcase on the CATL show airing now on SIBN Radio. That's right. All artists now on genres, wholesome and positive, please, can be featured on Gas Global Artist Showcase. Global Artist Showcase on the CATL show now airing on SIBN Radio. For more information, dial 4491. One zero five zero one nine. That's four zero four nine one zero five zero one nine. Monday through Friday, nine a.m. to five p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. Or email us at global coverage at selectusatv.info. Info. 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 SIBN Television and Radio Networks has openings for internships. Learn internet radio, web TV production, audio production, audio production. broadcasting platform integration, and so much more. Visit www.sibntelevision.com. That's www.sibntelevision.com. Click on the icon for internships. 
Complete your application, and a staff member of SIBN Television and Radio Networks will contact you immediately. This is your season. Your talents is required. Your skills will be upgraded when you connect with SIBN Television and Radio Networks today. Visit www.sibntelevision.com. Click on the internship program. Complete your application. And someone from the staff will contact you immediately. For more information, dial 404-910-5019 or email us at globalcoverage at selectusatv.info. You're listening to the sounds of your lifestyle improvement station. Hi, it's Jamaica Chapel, College Park, Georgia, in the house. You're listening to SIB and Radio Turn Hi, this is Ted Balls calling from Richmond, Virginia, and you're listening to the Lifestyle Improvement Station, SIBN Radio. Y'all turn it up now. Hi, this is VJ Washington calling from Atlanta, Georgia. You're listening to the Lifestyle Improvement Station, SIBN Radio. So turn it up. Hi, my name is Sonia Claiborne from East St. Louis, Illinois, by way of Corruptsville, Missouri. You're listening to the Lifestyle Improvement Station, SIBN Radio. Turn it up. What's good? It's your boy Joe coming from Snellville, Georgia. You're listening to the Lifestyle Improvement Station, SIBN Radio. Y'all turn it up. You're listening to the sounds of your Lifestyle Improvement Station, changing the way we live, SIBN FM. Powered by USA TV. Yeah, we're talking about respect, commanding honor, and respect. Commanding it. And so, here's the application. Here's the application. As you move forward in life, you realize that you've dishonored, you disrespected yourself. Partially because of the disrespect and dishonors you've received. But you have brought it on yourself because you've internalized that dishonor and that respect experience disrespectful experiences that you went through you internalized that as part of your own rather than being able to respond to it you reacted and you did x y and z to 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 cover the pain that you felt and and wow man just imagine the things that we have done in reaction to you see now comes the life that i want to fix and i want to have a straight path forward well, you got to you got to say, you know, enough. You got to do whatever you got to do to let the the, the, the the stance of enough be understood. There's a line in the sand here. There's a land. There's a line in the sand here. I would not cross this line again. And folks would always treat you as if you've never driven a, a, a written a law, a, a, a line in the sand. They will always treat you. Until you have engrafted in your own spirit, in your own mind, in your own conditioning, in your own day-to-day grind, that I'm not like I was. I've drawn a line in the sand. It's honor, it's respect, it's earnings. How do I do it? Let me tell you how. Sometimes when you go to restore honor, you follow the protocol that is necessary for you. You stop following the protocol that everybody else wants you to follow. That does not necessarily mean you don't follow the protocol of delegated authority. I'm not talking about that. But you begin to follow your own protocol. Uh, One example is what makes you feel great? I'm not talking about superficially speaking. I'm not talking about getting your grind on. How many partners you got? How many cars you can buy? I'm not talking about how how much accolades you can bestow upon yourself. I'm talking about what makes you feel good. For instance, giving makes you feel great. If giving makes you feel great, then restore your honor by giving again. I need some help. Studying makes you feel great. Because you're seeking understanding and you're seeking the wisdom of the matter. So if studying makes you feel honorable, if studying increases the quality of who you are and becoming, then begin to study again. That's why some of you have went back to school. You don't you don't even know the reason why you would return to school, but you're seeking to restore the honor and the respect and the earnings. The reason why our earnings have plummeted in this country and the United States of America is because we're caught up on pleasure. We're caught up on dishonor and disrespect of our own selves. How can you command a dollar when you selling yourself for 50 cents? <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> And then the dollar don't even cover 
the part that you sold yourself for. Income in America in the last maybe 15, 20 years have, de have declined because there's a section of the population that looks for the handout uh, because they think it's a hand up. But listen, let me just let me just drop this on you real quick because I don't have a lot of time. A handout is not a hand up to me. A hand out is not always a hand up to me. Let me say that again. A hand out is not always a hand up. For you folks that own the EBT cards, a hand out is not always a hand up. For you folks that getting farm subsidies and all kinds of governmental subsidies to help you in your business, because they don't ever talk about that. They want to talk about black folks with the EBT cards, but they never talk about what white folks are able to get because they have this and that and the other. I'm talking to everybody. A hand up is not always a, a hand out is not always a hand up. This is not a Republican or de Democratic statement. This is a statement of reality, of principle. Everybody that wants to help us doesn't always want to help us. Sometimes they want to continue a pattern where we are not trusting of ourselves, our own ideas, where we do not honor, respect our own grind enough to earn our own money and invest our money respectively that we may be able to say this is our legacy. Don't even get me started. I need to return to my political show for real. Because I have some things to say, but I sometimes just get a little bit, a little bit afraid that I'll just go off and won't be able to control myself. So I've been working on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, our earnings have plummeted due to the lack of quality and how we see ourselves. Oh, we got the talent. We got the we got the talent. We got we got skills. I mean, you know, that's second to none. But we don't believe. We don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe that we deserve. And those that do believe they deserve, they go the other extreme and believe they, they I want to believe, I want I want to make it rain. I want to buy this and I want to buy this. They go to the other extreme of the materialistic gain of it with no characteristic development, character development. See? You got to have balance. The, the, the impact and the influence of power is modesty. I said the balance, the input, the impact and the influence of power is balance and modesty. No extreme can hold its power very long. I need some help. I said no extreme can hold or host and harness its power for for a long period of time. Eventually, it must give way to the momentum of that authority that challenges it, challenges it. We must learn how to find balance. It is not something we can only talk about. It is something that we must practice. The cleansing, the forgiving, the letting go, the acknowledging, the, the confession, the admitting, and then the movement toward a protocol. How do you command honor and respect and earnings? You begin to design a protocol suitable to how you are able to function. principle based some of it is principle-based. Some of it, I hate to say it, is sense-based. Some of it is sense-based. You know, Christians have a way of just getting rid of everything. I, you know, I don't need, I, I read a post one time that says, I don't need anybody but God. That's how ludicrous is that? When he says, he'll know, all men will know that you love me when you love one another. And then you turn around and post on Facebook, I don't need anybody but God. I mean, what kind of statement is that? And that's part of our psyche. That's part of our dishonoring and disrespectful mindset and conditioning that we don't need anybody but Jesus and we don't need anybody but God. And thus we plow ahead and we're disappointed at the trials and the tribulations of our life and of our relationships because we thought we didn't need nobody else but Jesus. But I have news for you. God put other folks here because you need them too. And he's going to use them other folks to continue to challenge you, to sharpen you, to aggregate you, to aggravate you. And to even in some cases attempt to dishonor and disrespect you and to take away your earnings. And to put you under their feet and call you nothing. And it's going to be up to you to stand up. Stand out. And stand on principles of protocol that you can follow. For instance, I will not cuss folk out. Now, you may cuss folk out, but I'm talking about I will not make it a practice to call folk names. 
I will establish now that my protocol, I will not be, uh, uh, I will not be joining the culture and calling folks bitches and hoes. I will not do that. That is beneath my honor. That is beneath who I am. That is beneath. I will not even listen to or engage in putting to my ears music that conveys that any human being is less than the beauty that they were created in. I need some help. We have to establish a protocol of honor and respect so that we can get our money back in our communities. So kids can be, you know, kids go around and try to earn money. Now, folk don't even let them earn money. Can I cut your grass? No. Just, just feisty for no reason. Feisty for no reason. I've seen good kids go out in packs, you know, looking for little odd jobs in the community and denied. Look, kids. Because you know what? Honor don't give a crap about anybody's age. Disrespect has no no color barrier. And we got to command. What is the protocol that you are going to establish for your life that will make people honor you like you haven't been making yourself honor you? What is the protocol that you will establish in your life that will make people respect you like you are making you respect you? I need some help. And what is the protocol in your life for your earning power, your earning potential? And here is the finality of my conversation on today. We have this thing about we got to get a job. I have nothing against it. But if I hear one more person tell me they got to get a job, I'm going to scream. We have so conditioned ourselves in the Western Hemisphere, in the United States of America, that we can't function without a job. It is ludicrous. Listen, everything you do is a job. If you're a mother and you got three kids, that's a job. If you're a father and you got a family, that's a job. If you're a school teacher and you're underpaid, that's still a job. It is not the job that high, that gives us what we want all up front that's the problem. It's the fact that, that we are becoming dependent upon a job system that crumbles in our view. It crumbles in our presence. It's crumbling even now. The dollar plummets. The investments are taken overseas. The tax shelters and the tax breaks are given to the big ones and the little ones are squashed. I need some help. And so this is also another form of dishonor to the American worker. Dishonor. Uh, man, don't even, man, I don't, I don't want to even go. I don't even want to go there. Dishonor to the labor movement. Dishonor continues in the workplace, you want to know why you all messed up? It's because of your job. And while it may pay bills and sustain you in the paying of bills momentarily, it is, uh, uh, it is, it is, it is, it is detriment at best in many cases to your health, because guess what? It takes more from you than it gives. I need some help. And where are you going to get it back from church? Because you step in church and they take more than they give. I need some help. They want payment for what they distribute. So here again, we find ourselves in a cycle, in a circle of disrespect, dishonor, and falling earnings. Well, I'm waiting for somebody to invest in me. Invest in yourself. Because you begin to attract to you that which you will now do for you. A hand out is not always a hand up even from church folk. I know church folk that will help you to know your business. Let's talk about how we circle back around in our closing moments back to the past, because we deal with folks superficially. We're, we're swayed by what we hear from folk and we get caught up in the thicket of conversations that are meaningless. And then we allow ourselves to be caught once again through the persuasion of some to return to a place that we psychologically didn't really mean to return to, but because we were not willing to do the hard work, we wanted an easy way out because that's the way, that's the human experience. What's the easiest way? Even Jesus said, Father, if it's possible, let this cup be passed from me. But nevertheless, you got to put a nevertheless in your protocol. 
I want to call them and tell them that I don't have enough money for this. But you know what? Nevertheless, if God don't do it, it won't be done. I'm going to stand right here, sit right here, work right here, whatever the case may be, until God shows me how to use the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding that I have to work out my own situations. Because now I understand and I realize and accept the fact that a handout is not always a hand up. Just because somebody's willing to help me don't necessarily mean that there's not an obligation hidden under the table of which I may find out later on in my life that I cannot pay. Some people help you to obligate you to them rather than to free you to be obligated to your legacy and your future. And you cannot, you cannot continue this level of dishonor and disrespect. And hence, I've laid my case out on today. I've given you my heart. What is your protocol for honor and respect? If your protocol is that you got to get off the phone talking with some folk, then get off the freaking phone. If your protocol means that I've got to learn how to enjoy my quiet time and allow my thoughts that are coming forth with concepts and ideas to develop and to write things down and to become a little bit more studious and to, you know, upgrade perhaps my phone. I don't know. To believe for a new car so that I can recreate for myself a pool of honor that I can swim in. And hereby be drenched all about with with honor, the beauty, the quality of my life rising from the dust, rising from poverty, rising up from a dead spirituality and to a vibrant relationship with God. Man, don't even get me started. Why? Because. I want my earnings to reflect. I'm tired of I'm you know I don't have nothing I don't have nothing now look I'm gonna say this in an ebonic way don't send me no email listen I don't have nothing to give against budgets but I'm tired of budgeting I'm tired of robbing Peter to pay Paul I'm just being frank with you I'm tired of counting what's what I got left I want to be able to enjoy my life on the level that I want to enjoy it and too many of us are caught up in the thicket of how much i'm tired i'm tired i want to be able to have more than enough so i can do what i got to do and then turn around and say who want to be blessed and so if i really want to do that i have to continue to honor myself i'm sorry i don't have time for small talk i don't have time for it for, for for stupid religious questions i don't have time for meaningless conversations and i realize that everybody asks me how i'm doing is not interested in how i'm doing because then they want to get in my business and get some information come on now and some of y'all asking folk how they doing don't even know you're trying to get into their business you just have a habit of getting in their business through asking them how they doing Stop being dishonoring folks and say, you know what? Go look and see what they're doing. Go check on their website. Go visit their store. Order some of their products and put them on and wear them. And then you know how they're doing. We're doing fat. We're doing good. We're doing fine. Because the answer, in, the answer of my mouth from the, answer, from the condition of my heart is the, the, the manifestation of my circumstances. I said the answer from my mouth from the conditioning of my heart is the, is the enjoyment that I have in the manifestation of my present circumstances. And if it's to be, it's up to me. And I realize now that I am the common denominator. And yes, I'll have aid and I'll have help and I'll have people that will come alongside me. But that is after I have embraced myself. That is after I have forgiven myself. That is after I've honored myself. That is after I've learned to respect who I am. That is after learning that I have gifts and talents and I have potential earnings in the in the things that I know how to do right now. While you're waiting on a job, still keep working. Find something to do. Create momentum in your earning pool. And you know what? You'll find your rise to the top of your game. When you leave the past behind you and embrace the future before you. Not alone. I got God on my side. My arms are too short boxed with him anyhow. But assuredly, if it is to be, then I am the common denominator in every situation as a coach.
RBN Radio, powered by Salet USA TV. Tune in 24-7 at www.415-96radio.com. Follow us on Twitter at Salet USA TV and on Facebook at www.facebook.com. Salet USA TV. Are you a spoken you word a spoken artist? Word artist? Now is your time to be featured online. Tier 1 Promotions on the CATL show is looking for spoken word artists to be featured on regular rotation. Regular rotation. If you are a spoken word artist, now is your time to be promoted on Tier 1 Promotions Tier 1 with promotion. the CATL with show. For more information, dial 404-910-5019. That's 404-910-5019. Or email us your bio and your links to work online. Global coverage at selectusatv.info. Global coverage at selectusatv.info. Calling all spoken word artists nationwide. Nationwide call for all spoken word artists. Nationwide. Nationwide call for all spoken word artists. This has been your CATL GAS Global Artist Showcase Promotion. All submissions must be wholesome and positive, please. Suitable for SIP and television and radio networks. You're listening to the sounds of your lifestyle improvement station, changing the way we live. I am Bonnie Bella, a.k.a. world-famous DJ Donnie B. You are tuned in to SIBN Radio, your lifestyle improvement station. I'm telling y'all to turn it up, turn it up. We got to wind things up. I believe in you. I believe that you can restore the honor that you deserve. I believe that you can restore the respect that you deserve. I believe that you can find the wisdom in the statement, a hand out is not always a hand up. Everybody that claims they want to help you might seek equity in your change. I felt that right there. And you might not want to give up any more equity right about now because your ownership of what you have is weak. Maybe it's even strong and people seek to weaken your ownership through owning a piece of your future. All I can tell you is this. At the end of the day, I am the common denominator in every situation. How can I be impactful? How can I be of influence is the question. Till next time, follow me on Twitter if you can. This is Coach. The number one show on SIB and television and radio. The Coach's Corner's Daily Show. Now airing. Now airing. Now airing. Now airing. 415 96radio. For hardcore motivation. And daily inspiration. Tune in. That's www.415-96radio. That's www.415-96radio.com. Responsible. Accountable. Who taught you that? My daddy taught me that. That's right, the new book, all the way from Asheville, North Carolina, representing the legacy of Benny Lake, is Keenan Lake. The author of My Daddy Taught Me That, the book and the program for young men in Asheville, North Carolina, and throughout the region. Tune in. Tune in to the program, the project, and the book at MyDaddyTaughtMeThat.com. For more information, email Lake at MyDaddyTaughtMeThat.com. Or call 828-582-2261. That's 828-582-2261. My daddy taught me that. Dot com.
Ustedes están escuchando SIBN, transmitido por Salet USA TV. Síganos en Twitter, at Salet USA TV, o visítenos en www.415-96radio.com. 